Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin. A little over three years ago, I made the decision to start a Let's Play channel on YouTube. At first, I was going to be called DSS Dark Star Storm, and my first Let's Play of choice was going to be that of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the Nintendo 3DS. A couple weeks later, I changed my mind and I was going to be called another Conroy, and I was going to be playing Minecraft. But then, towards mid-January, I had finally decided on a name and first Let's Play. I decided on Pal Plays as my name and Pikmin 2 as my game. In the, the short time that followed before I released my first video, I about faced and ended up playing Skyward Sword. For multiple reasons. First, I didn't want to give, be giving Pikmin 1, the prequel to this game, an undeserving cold shoulder. It was a great game. Even though I hadn't grown up with it, it was still a great game. But also, when I Let's Played this game, I wanted to do it correctly. And I knew that I couldn't do it correctly when I was so new to the craft. And so I waited. Three years I waited, and in that time I did indeed Let's Play Pikmin 1. And it is now that I am proud to present... After so long, every Let's Play I've done, I've thought, well, this is one cl one Let's Play closer to Pikmin 2. And finally, it's here. Without further ado, Let's Play Pikmin 2. Hokitate Freight is a long-haul deep space shipping company. One day, its only employee of any merit, Captain Olimar, crashed on an uncharted planet while on an interstellar vacation. There, he was aided by indigenous creatures which he called Pikmin. In the end, Captain Olimar escaped. But in Olimar's absence, his employer, Hokitate Freight, ran into financial difficulties. President of Hokitate Freight and local employee, Louie. Olimar, I'm so glad you're safe. Yes, very glad, quite glad, but... Sadly, I have an announcement that is not so glad. Our company is going under. Yes, we're, we're finished. On his first mission, Louie here met a ravenous space bunny and his entire load of golden pick pick brand carrots was eaten. I took out an enormous loan to repay the debt from this loss. I decided to sell off corporate assets to repay the loan. But the only asset we had to sell was your ship, the SS Dolphin. As for the rest of our loan, we had no means to repay it. Olimar, what's that? You brought ba that back as a souvenir for your kid? Treasure, 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 money, 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 money. Initiating valuation of recovered treasure. This artifact is worth 100 pokos. This thing's worth 100 pokos? That's more than a year's salary. What? There are more on that planet? They can repay our debt. Louis, You don't look alive! You must depart immediately! With Captain Olimar! Louis.
repose. Smooth landing by Olimar. You saw that last second pull up there? That was... That was skilled right there. That was close. I have averted a crash land- Oh, it was him who did it. Well, Olimar, you, you're, you're bad. Running diagnostics. Alert! Danger! Louis is missing! He must have somehow fallen out of his cockpit. He is not responding via his communicator. He is either a f he's either flouting protocol or is in danger. Olimar, you must find Louis before he freezes to death in the cold of this planet. Wait a moment. Look. Could these be Pikmin? They look like they are about to be devoured as we speak. You must help them, quickly! Press B to call them with your whistle, Captain Olimar! You can also hold B to make the sound of your whistle carry further, remember? I do, but I don't know how you know that. Also, oh, it feels so good! Now these Pikmin actually cannot possibly die here, in this cutscene. Sadly, this, this Dwarf Bulborb is doomed from the very start, since he has no teeth, or he just can't swallow, and so we can just leave them alone and look around this beautiful planet. It has been so long since I've played Pikmin. Okay, fine. We're, we're, let's whistle them, because that's what the game wants us to do. It feels so good to be back. The Pikmin ran to your side! They seem to remember you, Captain Olimar! How fascinating! Give them instructions and do not delay! Hold A to grab a Pikmin and release it to throw it! Oh, I just realized, you probably didn't realize that I was going to be playing on the GameCube version. Well, yeah, I am, because it is the original, and so, <laughs> good luck to me, because the controls are a little bit weird, especially compared to Pikmin 3. Even though I use the Pro Controller, it it feels a little bit different, but I wanted to be playing on the original version because it's what I'm used to, and it makes the game the difficulty that it was meant to be. Attention, Captain Olimar! I have just re-established my communications link with Louis. It is fortunate that we have managed to confirm his safety. Press Y to communicate with him. I am quite interested in the details of his condition. Press Y, you said? Okay, why? Louis. Louis. Well, he's alive. Did a face plant in the snow, but he's alive. Louis! Allow me to assess your condition as per our safety protocols. Are you at all injured? Is that so? Then my concerns are eased. Our communication link shows that you are nearby. Can you make your way to our location and rejoin us? I will navigate for you. Press start pause to contact me and obtain information about the terrain. Let's follow our instructions. Here is our map. Do I really need to show you how to explain this game? <laughs> Go to sunset. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, I believe Y? How do you zoom? Okay, I, I zoom with the C stick. I forgot about that. I did not practice for this game, which maybe I should have, but I did not. All right, let's go forward, zoom in here. Man, it feels so good to be back. This has undoubtedly been my most anticipated Let's Play. Maybe not for you, but for me. Like, every creative, uh, creative writing assignment I did in college or high school <laughs> was somehow inspired by this game. I've done so much because I was just hyped to play it. And finally I am in my last year of college. Louis, that odd object before you appears to be one of the onions mentioned in Olimar's report. Odd that it's sprouting a Pikmin when the Pikmin numbers aren't extinct. That's weird, because normally they do that when there are no Pikmin left, but there are clearly five in Olimar's possession. 
the seed the onion injected just sprouted. According to Omar's report, it can be plucked with A. Press the button in your mind to pluck the Pikmin. Oh, he's so cute. Just look at him. Just staring back at us with those round, expressionless, emotionless eyes. It's, it, it's kind of creepy. Louis, this must be one of the Pikmin creatures from Olimar's report. It is staring at you. It wants to eat you. You can use the C-Stick to issue objectives to your Pikmin squad and even direct their movement. You can disman your squad with X. Interesting. Olimar's description of the creatures resembling pick pick carrots was strikingly accurate. Louis, my sensors have detected drool in the corner of your mouth. Are you alright? So Louis's a bit of a glutton, but uh, not so much when his food can fight back. Ah, <laughs> uh, Louis. It's interesting that they decided to make. Louis and Olimar silent protagonists, even though the president clearly spoke in the opening cutscene. That's odd to me. Alright, let's switch back to them and uh, go ahead and multitask here. But get interrupted by a cutscene. As always, as per every, the beginning of every game, you will be interrupted by cutscenes. Let's see if I can make these as painless as possible. The onion injected more seeds. The pellet from that flower must hold nutri nutrients that breed Pikmin. Yes, the Pikmin gather nutrients, haul them to the onion, and further propagate their species. The onion is a Pikmin mothership. Reviewing Olimar's report. It seems repeatedly tapping A lets one rapidly pluck Pikmin sprouts. Thank you, you're a peach. Okay, let's... Throw all the Pikmin up here, then switch back. Because I know how to play the game, I can play the game and get as many Pikmin as possible. Make this first ep episode pretty pretty short. One thing that they actually fixed from Pikmin 1 is that if you were to throw a Pikmin at a pellet posy, which is what these flowers are, it would return to you and it wouldn't grab the pellet. But in this game, they made the decision to make it so, oh, you obviously want him to harvest that that pellet, so he's just going to automatically do that. It's pretty nice, and it makes things just a, a little bit easier. Like, it's not enough where it makes the game cake, but it's, it's one of those quality of life things that they should have fixed from the beginning, but experience showed them, you know, the way to improve the game based on feedback. Okay, we have all of the, our Pikmin here, which is, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I got this game. You might be wondering why I have such a, an, not attraction, a fondness for Pikmin 2. Well, I got this game 12 years ago for my, do we have enough? Yeah, we actually have one more than enough, okay. Uh, I got this game 12 years ago for my 8th birthday, and I, man, I've played this game so much. Perhaps this object is one of the treasures that we are searching for. The only reason we found it here is because this is where you crash landed. How fortunate. I would like to appraise it, but you must regroup with Olimar first. Can you see him? Press L to move the camera behind you, R to zoom, and Z to change angles. Which I'll probably be staying in the, the furthest view. Although, there's something to be said for this one. This is normally the view I used as a child. Oh, speaking of, of being a child, after I got this game for my 8th birthday, I played it- oh, goodness, I played it non-stop. In fact, I think to this day, it's still my- probably my top 3 or top 4 most played games of all time. Um, I'm not sure how it ranks in ter uh, according to- or in contrast to League of Legends or Fire Emblem Awakening or uh, Smash Brothers, but it's still really high up there. Captain Olimar, Louis, you are reunited at last. This has been a troublesome start to our trip. But now you must feel assured that your combined wits can get you through anything, correct? From, from now on, use B to form a single group, X to make solo action, or to take solo action, and Y to change leaders. Thanks, game, for explaining that. Okay, uh, let's grab them. Throw them on this. And 
Honestly, I don't really need to split up the, the group, so let's let's keep them together and look around here. Can I hold R? Yeah, okay. I thought that was something unlocked a little bit later, but no, you can... They don't tell you about it, but you can hold R to get this this third person view, which is really nice at times. But yeah, I've played this game an awful lot. In fact, on my own time, you can see that this is day one. On my own time, I have developed multiple logs that are each around 600 days each, and... <laughs> They each have about 19,000 Pikmin. 19,000 Pikmin total. Yeah. <laughs> because Nova and I, as children, we couldn't beat the final boss, and so we ended up going into this arms race of sorts, where we were just preparing thousands upon thousands of Pikmin, because that's what we thought were, was needed to beat the final boss of the game. And we never beat him until years and years later, and so... <laughs> We just have all these logs with hundreds and thousands of Pikmin. Kind of makes me wonder if my computer, if I modded Pikmin to handle having that many out at once, what it would look like to have 19,000 Pikmin in a squad. I don't know, that'd be interesting to see someone mod that. The mods probably exist. Also, Louis isn't grabbing Pikmin, but he's supposed to? If you have another, per, another uh, leader in your squad, they're supposed to help you pluck Pikmin, but... uh. Louis, Louis wasn't having any of that. Actually, before we go, are there any more pellet posies? No, there are not. All right, so we have all the Pikmin that we can obtain today. Uh, I could have done a, a it's not really speedrunning strategy, but it is a strategy. Let's go ahead and use the C-Stick to get them on this Duracell battery. But it's a strategy where uh, if you leave Pikmin in the ground, they will gradually, they'll flower. And when they have flowers on their heads, they will move faster. I think they actually might... I mean, they may deal more damage, but I think they, they just uh, they run faster and carry things faster. And because we have an unlimited timer on this day, I can conceivably just leave Pikmin uh, in the ground till they become flowers. And then we would have 15 flower Pikmin, 15 leaf Pikmin, which would have been pretty useful, but I don't really need to do that because I'm going to be flowering them soon enough. All right, let's go ahead and wait for this Duracell battery to come into home plate here, and then we'll be done with our first day in the first episode. Wow. Yeah, I've been really excited for this Let's Play for so long. Every Let's Play, like as I said, that I've completed, I've told myself that it's one Let's Play closer to this game. So, I I'm really excited to be playing this after so long. Okay, the Pikmin are almost there. There is so much to be said. <laughs> For example, I can't throw my my squad, my uh, captain. I, I'm really going to miss that. That was a thing they added in Pikmin 3 that was surprisingly useful. You could throw your, your second-in-command like a Pikmin. It was so nice, but that, that has yet to be added. There's our Duracell battery. A D battery, and it is called the Courage Reactor. Worth almost 300 Pocos. Isn't it beautiful? All this product placement. Our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure! We will be done in record time! I took the liberty of naming it when I appraised it. The name reflects my current thinking. Leave it to me to think up catchy names for hit products. It is but one of my many talents. We shall end our first day here and report back to our president. His face will surely be joyous. However, we communicate with Hokitate. Or to communicate with Hokitate, we must fly into low orbit above the planet. We will not return to the surface until morning, so as to avoid the indigenous nocturnal creatures. And so ends our first day. And it was a productive one, although actually it couldn't not be a productive one, since it's kind of... Of all the days, this one's probably the most scripted, or it is the only scripted one. Uh, day two is probably next place, because you can't do much. Um, but this one, you have to accomplish certain things in order to complete the day, and we accomplish them. But day two will give us a little bit more freedom. Today's report, 
One thing that has been a mainstay in the series is talking about what you've done in the day, and we start that off with the treasure that we've made, which has been the Courage Reactor. We've gotten 20 red Pikmin, and this kind of actually spoils all the kinds of Pikmin, or at least the number of types of Pikmin. There are five kinds of Pikmin in the game. And then, oh, I thought that didn't unlock. Huh. For some reason, I thought that the, uh, the hazards that Pikmin can die to wouldn't unlock unless you had a Pikmin die to them as to not spoil it. But apparently they do, although it's missing uh, crushing, which I... What does that even... Maybe that counts as battle. Probably counts as battle, okay. And with our email... <laughs> you found your first bit of treasure! Fine work! Our future depends on your effort, so check your treasure hoard regularly! I'll check in often! Keep up the pace! Ho ho! I am your president! Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this day in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then talk about how I can make the next day, make tomorrow, a better one. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Pal Plays Pikmin 2. You all have a good night. Oh my goodness, speaking of which... Well, I found it. <laughs> I found the interesting thing. Uh, I was gonna say, I could find a cave. And no sooner had I said that than I find a very, very interesting cave. Oh boy. Well, that's good. That's coming along rather nicely. This game is set in the real world. Hundreds or thousands of years, or sorry, hundreds and thousands of years after humanity is no more.